Hey guys, I hope everything is fine for you because in this video you might laugh or be disgusted about what I'm gonna show to you. Uh, it is something that a, a guildmate showed me, a hero to replace faction in the weathering cost. So if you don't have a faction, you are gonna be really happy. But if you decided to summon for him uh, only for the weathering cost, you might be disgusted after that. But remember that if you have faction, this is still great because for PvP, if you have the exclusive 2 and 3, uh, you are gonna shine depending on the team you are gonna use. So this is still a great hero for PvP and also for the faction abyss. But for the weathering cost, yeah, that unique hero is gonna replace him and you are gonna see that this is more accessible. But before we talk about that, I have to talk about up to it. I have a big information to give to you. So here I have the promotion days of January. The first day is the 10th of January. You are gonna have 5% more cashback and also for a maximum total bonus of 20%. And the 22nd of January, you are gonna still have 5% more cashback but with a total, a maximum amount of bonus um, reaching 15% only. So, another g great news, I'm gonna have my promo code uh, from January 12th to January 19th. Uh, during this week, my promo code is gonna be active and I don't know if you are still gonna earn 5% more cashback or more, I think it's still gonna be 5% more. And I don't know yet if it is still gonna be the same code, I mean just Akhtar or something else. Uh, I asked for the details and soon, probably tomorrow, Monday, I'm gonna have more news and so I'm gonna give you the news about it. So you can uh, prepare the promo code in order to earn more. Uh, I think... In my opinion, we are gonna have the Chinese New Year between the 12th and the 19th of uh, January. Um, remember that last year we had Pauline from January 16th to January 22nd. So it might be um, in one week, okay? So <laughs> prepare your miracle wishes and your money if you wanna spend and get the exclusives on Heroes. But remember also that normally they will give you the first copy for free. I think if they do as the last year, uh, they will probably replace the legendary Phantom Dragon Eye from the Space Temples uh, by um, the, new, the copy of the Limited Hero. So, now place to the game. What hero can I use to replace Faction in the Weathering Cost? You're curious to see. You're gonna see this is Hilarus. So... I still select the power of Sagacity, okay? And this is the hero. This is only a three star unit. A three fucking star unit. Yes, yes, I said it. Uh, a three star unit. Wait. And look at her basic attack. 150% attack damage to a single enemy and 80% chance to inflict deep internal injury to for two turns. This is the same debuff as Faction does on the ultimate, but she does that on the basic attack. And so, you just have to make her survive, but this is not gonna be that complicated because you have some uh, shields, you have some uh, heals, etc. So, um, normally she can survive. We are gonna try that, okay? First of all, let me put Faction instead of her to see the damage. Okay, uh, let me just check that. I want to use that skill in priority so I can get the deep internal injury too. And also I have that echo on him. So sometimes he increases my allies attack by 9% or the crit damage by 27 or the skill damage by 9%. And I have no echo on the other. So this is the smart casting I have on everyone. I just banned that skill with Ben Austin. And uh, that skill in priority just in case uh, she does doesn't want to do that first without smart casting. So, this is the result with Faction. 4,718,000,000. Okay, now let's replace him and put the three star unit instead. Uh, where is she? Normally close to here, level 1, level 1, level 60. Okay, she's here. Uh, let me check. The smart casting. You don't need smart casting at all. She has a passive and only one skill. Okay, here she can play some internal injuries, but you have Ben Austin in the team. So with the pursuit, she can play the deep internal injuries. So you're gonna have that most of the time. And if I skip the battle, this is the result. This is the same, almost the same. 
if I retry? Okay, I have just a bit less. Probably because she dies before. And look at that, this is the same. The same result with only a 3 star unit. Instead of faction, uh, the, new uh, the new legendary hero. So let's run the fight and let's see how does it work if I she dies soon or not. Deep internal injury too. So now F Indra is gonna play and look at the damage on the first turn. Stunning, right? And the boss doesn't hit that hard on her at the beginning. So you have time to deal some damage. And it continues. Look at that, already 500 million soon. And as you can see, she doesn't have a lot of speed and so she has a big shield. So she doesn't need to have a lot of HP, the shield is protecti protecting her. And this is great. And I, I, I was thinking about using Nordak. Nordak with another 3 star unit in dungeon who can play some interesting debuffs. Maybe, maybe it could be interesting, right? Or maybe for the campaign, if you use strong shielders with with some specific three stars units, maybe it can be interesting. What do you think about that? Look at that. She's she's not dying. Only level sixty. She has no single awakening, and if you check, she has one hundred and ninety one k HP only. But it does the job. And I, I love that. A three star unit instead of a legendary hero. That's so freaking funny. If you guys have some more tips like that, if you are using some three star units, tell me in the comment below, that would be great to know. I will produce more videos so everybody will know and we could have fun together. What do you think about that? Could be fun. Already 2 billion damage in 8 turns, which is pretty high, so I think she's gonna die soon. Because the damage of the boss is increasing, okay, pro oh no, she has a shield, she's gonna survive that attack. But she doesn't play that often though, so... She survives because... She keep the buffs. Okay, she's dead now. 10 turns. 2 billion 500 million. And we have still internal injury 2 on the bus for 2 turns. Okay, we don't have it anymore. 2 billion 800 million. She dies pretty early. But imagine if you are using that in a dungeon, you might have time to kill the boss before she dies, right? Almost 4 billion damage. Fourteen turns, so I might die before the end. Close to the 4 billion. Almost done. Okay, 4 billion damage. And I think I'm gonna lose someone. Maybe my Dianmu. Twelve thunderstorm, so I'm I'm gonna reach the four billion five hundred. Okay, I'm gonna lose my villette, or maybe not. Okay, they are gonna survive until the end. Four billion seven hundred, six hundred, with a three star unit. Pretty strong, isn't it? <laughs> That's so freaking funny. This is only a 3 star unit. And my Villette is 130. So 
you don't need a lot of food for that team, right? So let me show you the stats of my heroes just in case you are curious to see. Uh, this is my Indra. Two mastery sets on him. He has 60k defense, which is a lot, but I have a great, a big sanctuary today. A lot of talents and a lot of gear. Uh, Echo, I'm using that one. Level 30, so he gets 32% more defense and 9% more when he enters the fight. And the effect is increased by 30% because he is the hero with the highest amount of defense in the team. Aura, I'm using that one. One star, level 19. Can I increase that? Not yet. Blessing, this is what I'm using. Uh, defense rate, 35% more. Uh, de flat defense, 1,172. Uh, mastery, 8.7%. And another mastery one, 20%. Great. That's amazing. I have also 219% mastery, uh, half the way from the to the 100 crit rate, 206% crit damage, which is a lot. 700k HP. This is a tank, so um, he has more HP and defense. Um, in terms of aura, also, you can replace that aura by the blue mastery mastery aura if you want. In terms of emblems, this is what I have on, the, on him. Everything to increase the dot damage and the direct damage. And some more defense because he scales his damage over his defense. Uh, okay for Indra, the next one is Dian Mu. I'm using two speed sets on her. The goal is to have the maximum amount of speed on her so she can play faster and put the Thunderstorm mark more often. In terms of stats, only the speed does matter. You want uh, you want to be the mastery and attack if you want to deal some extra damage. But as you saw on the screen, you she doesn't deal a lot of damage at the end of the fight. Uh, I'm using that echo, but it doesn't really matter. She can't target a unit in your team, so she uh, can't use the uh, the echoes. That one. E if it was the case, I could have even more damage. Uh, in terms of aura, I'm using a speed aura. I can use a skill master, you can use that if you want, a skill master, you can use a combat vanguard on her if you want, uh, or, uh, um, where is it, a mastery surge aura to increase your mastery on your Indra, it could be really interesting. In terms of blessing, I have a stun hit twice, and here some more at flat attack, but this is not a lot, not changing many things. This is the emblems I am using on her. So the goal is to increase the speed and to lower the cooldowns. Really interesting and to have more heat for PvP if you want to use her in PvP. Uh, then if you want to know, this is my faction. I'm using a first aid set and a speed set. Uh, the goal is to have a lot of speed and, uh, and some effect heat to place the debuffs, right? So this is what I have on him. In terms of echo, I'm using that one normally to increase my attack. Uh, my crit damage and my skill damage on my heroes. Uh, in terms of blessing, uh, this is what I have, nothing. <laughs> and I'm using a skill master aura zero star on him. So, he has a skill master aura, the three star unit doesn't have any aura at all. And it does the same damage. Here, I'm using these emblems. More speed, cooldown reduction, more effect hit. This is important. And uh, some extra damage. Uh, okay, then my other units. Who did I use? My Ben Austin. Where is my Ben? This is my Ben Austin. First aid set and speed set. He has a lot of speed. This is the only stats you need on him, okay? A lot of speed. But if you are curious to know, this is the stats I have on him. A lot of effect hit. This is mostly for PvP. If you want to uh, reduce, increase the cooldowns of enemies. Echo, I'm using that one. Doesn't matter for the weathering cost. Aura, I'm using a skill master, but uh, during the run, I'm using the speed mark aura because I already have the skill master aura on my faction. And so uh, the more the speed, the higher the speed on the hero, the better. Blessing, no blessing. Emblems, this is what I'm using. More speed, less turn meter, uh, decrease. Uh, this is for PvP and resistance for PvP. This is my build on my Ben Austin. So, Ben Indra... I'm forgetting one hero, uh, Dianmu. Um, okay, let me show you the three-star unit. 
This is the three star unit, okay? She has a speed set and the first aid set, but she can't equip artifacts. So this is her gear. The goal is to have some effect hit and some speed. This is the only thing you are gonna need on her. Or maybe build her uh, really t the, the most tanky you can with a lot of effect hit and so she's gonna survive maybe one or two more turns. It can be interesting. And what is the last hero I was using? Yeah, Villette. Yeah, that was Villette. So let me show you my Villette. You are gonna see she doesn't have a lot of stats. She's only level 130, Awaken 3. This is my Villette. Two speed sets. The goal is to have a lot of speed and uh, that's pretty all in fact. She's not even skilled up. She has no echo. She has that aura, combat vanguard. On every skill she is hitting the boss so it's pretty interesting to have a combat vanguard. So, if I had to do a resume, I have combat vanguard 0 star, skill master 0 star and I'm not using any mastery surge aura. So imagine I can increase even higher my damage if I focus on the auras. And Blessing, she has known. Emblems, she has known. Because she is only Awakened 3. And so, that's pretty all for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If it's the case, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a nice day, and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.